Here's a Microsoft Surface Pro 3, and you have an issue where you forgot your password, okay? So if you got your password, I'm going to give you two solutions, okay? The first one is, so if you got your password or your PIN, you can always tap on, I forgot my PIN down here. If you go ahead and tap on that right there, this window here will pop up. And it says right here, here's my email address, and it says, we'll send you a code to your email address to sign in. So if I tap on send code, I'll get an email uh, with the code and I can um, enter the code and I can make a new password or PIN. Now if this is not working for you, your other option is you can go ahead and perform a factory reset. Okay, and how you do that is, let me just X out of that. Just go to your um, your sign in screen now. Now, you, now we can use the uh, physical keyboard or the virtual keyboard. Okay, so if you, you're using a, a, a um, physical keyboard right here, what you want to do first is go ahead and press and hold the shift button. And then you want to go over here to the power button on there, tap on that, and then click on restart. After you click on restart, then let go of the shift button, okay? Or if you don't have the physical uh, keyboard, you can go ahead and just bring up the virtual keyboard. So how you do that, you see that middle icon with that little person right there? We're going to tap on that. Make your computer and then we're going to tap on on-screen keyboard right there. And now what we're going to do from here is we're going to tap on the shift right here. So shift is basically being held down if it was a physical um, keyboard, okay? So from here, we're gonna tap on the power button and we're gonna tap on restart right there. And let us boot up into the recovery menu. And here we go, okay? So from here, what you can do is you can tap on troubleshoot right there. And then we wanna tap on reset this PC. And then you get two options here, okay? You can do keep my files, Removes apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. So it removes all your settings and your apps, but it keeps all your personal files, like your videos, photos, your personal documents, and so on. Or you have the other option here, remove everything. Okay, if you do this one here, basically uh, when it's done with the factory reset, it'll be as if you bought a brand new and you have to start back over doing a setup and choosing your password, Wi-Fi, and all that. So for myself, I'm just going to go ahead and remove everything, okay? So I'm going to tap down here. I want a totally clean slate here. And I'm going to tap on local reinstall here. And now this here pops up here. It says just remove my files. Use this if, you, um, if you're keeping your PC. So just remove your files, like your personal documents, photos, and videos. Or a longer way, more secure way is doing a fully clean the drive this will remove everything once this is done it'll be as if we bought a brand new and took it out of the box okay so for myself i'm going to fully clean this drive this is going to take longer okay this typically will take about an hour but for me because i don't have much on here it's probably going to take like 45 minutes so be patient here now and it says reset this pc so if you want to continue tap on reset if you want to cancel tap on cancel so i'm going to continue here we're going to click on reset right there so resetting this pc is at 99 percent once this is done then it's going to start installing Okay, so it's installing now. Please keep your computer on and plugged in. So I'm just going to plug mine in. I don't have that much battery juice. Make sure the light turns on there so we know it's charging. Also, your computer may restart a few times, okay? All right, finally, we are in business. This factory reset. And there you guys go. Any questions or issues, just uh, comment below. All right, good luck, guys.